Okay, this will be a short video tutorial on how to use a remote desktop connection utilizing TeamViewer inside Ubuntu. And here you can see we have Ubuntu running in a virtual environment on OS X. So the first thing we need to do is download TeamViewer. So we'll just go ahead and fire up Firefox and type in TeamViewer on Google and find their website. Okay, one of the first ones right here. And you can see it's completely free for non-commercial use and it does support a wide range of operating systems including Ubuntu and since we have 64-bit that's the one that we'll be using. Now I've already, actually already gone ahead and installed this you can see that here. Go ahead and close out Firefox since we'll not be needing that. And this is a .deb file. Now a .deb file can be run one or two ways. One way is to go ahead and double click it and the default action is to let the Ubuntu Software Center go ahead and handle the install for you. And as you can see, I have already done that, and it is actually already installed. You can actually use the Ubuntu Software Center to download it as well without using Firefox, so it will handle the download and install without any issue. If you're not sure if you have something installed, you can always click on the installed software on the left, and you can see here that TeamViewer is already installed and ready to be used. The second way that we can uh, install a .deb file is through the terminal window which I find is actually a little bit easier, but uh, to each his own. We'll need to use the sudo commands. This is a root level command to, to uh, extract this .deb package and get it installed. So I'll go ahead and sudo. And to extract this, I'll be using the dpkg command with the dash i switch. And instead of typing in the entire file path, I'll just go ahead and drag that into the window. It does it for me and click enter. Now since this is a root level command, it will ask me for my password, which well, I'll go ahead and type in now. And as you can see, once that's done, it goes ahead and reinstalls TeamViewer for me. If this was the first time, it would just install it. And we're done. So, now that TeamViewer is installed, I can go ahead and close this out. And in order to fire up TeamViewer, let's come to the application launcher. You can type in Team. It'll search for it and go ahead and click on it. Now, TeamViewer must be running on the local machine in order to establish a connection from a remote machine. Let's go ahead and accept. And now we can see that I have a generated ID password that is going to be needed to connect this machine from another. For the purposes of this tutorial, we've decided to show you how to initiate a remote connection through a phone. This is an Android phone uh, shown here, but this is not required. You can initiate a remote connection through a Windows computer, another Ubuntu computer, or an OS X Apple computer. That portion is up to you. In order to initiate the remote connection from a phone or otherwise, you will need the access number and password for that computer as we saw in the previous example. Without this information, you will not be able to initiate a remote connection. Okay, so here we have TeamViewer on my Android here. So we'll go ahead and fire that up. And it brings us to the login screen. And I will need a password from my Ubuntu TeamViewer. And that is randomly generated. It's gonna be 8526. I'll go ahead and connect to partner. Now we can see that as soon as it logs in, go ahead and click close as we don't need those directions, and we get a working desktop here. And I can see everything on this desktop that the other individual can. I can start up programs like terminal. So here we see terminal command line right here. And I can even type in commands like sudo. You can see that there. Go ahead and close that. And this can be run the same way on any application. And when I want it to be done with the, um, the session, I can go ahead and click close. It asks me if I want to close the connection, I'll go ahead and say yes. And it brings me back to the login screen. 
The only other thing that you really need to know about TeamViewer is that you can set a permanent password so it's not constantly randomly generating. If you're more in for support, then a random generated password may be better for you because that keeps the technician from logging into your computer anytime he wants you. But if you're the one trying to log into your computer, you may want to send a permanent password, that way you know what that password is each and every time.